Do your palms start sweating just at the mere thought of hitting the go live button on Instagram to connect with your followers? Um, me, hello, I. But going live, even just for two minutes a day, has proven to be an incredible way to connect with those followers of yours who are gonna turn into customers. So today I'm sharing my best Instagram live tips for business. Make sure you stay until the end where I'm gonna share my framework to keep viewers engaged from the time you go live all the way to the end. So the very first thing you should do is double check your upload speed. If you're connected to your home's Wi-Fi, you should be good to go. If you're out and about like me, what I like to do is actually download a speed test app on my phone. That way I can test to see how good my data connection is around here. So you know what, why don't I show you? Come on over and I'll show you that. So here's my speed test app already downloaded and you can see that they've picked up on local carriers. So I'm gonna hit the go button. It's gonna to connect to the local carrier. We've got a little ad to entertain us in the meantime. And right now this app is going to test our download and upload speed. What we care about when going live is the upload speed. So let's wait for download to do its thing and see what our upload speed is like. The minimum upload speed you should be looking for is three megabits per second. And as you can see, we just nailed that by getting 37 megabits per second. So our speed is good to go. My second tip to going live on Instagram is to prepare. Sometimes we don't like to prepare because it feels like work, but when you prepare before you're live, you're gonna feel so much more confident. So preparation entails two things. The very first thing is to decide when you're gonna go live and to let your Instagram followers know. This could be a super simple Instagram story that you post the day before. Just say, hey, I'm going live covering XYZ topic tomorrow at 12 p.m. Join me here live. So just give your followers a heads up. The second part of preparing is to plan out what you're gonna say. I'm not really a big winger type person, I'm a preparer. So I like to figure out what my topic is and then figure out a really good hook for it. It can't be bland and boring. You've got to really pique someone's curiosity. So figure out your topic, what your hook's going to be, then figure out your three to five bullet points of what you're actually going to share. I don't recommend sharing more than five bullet points because let's be honest, our attention spans are pretty short these days. And if you're like me, you're going to figure out that once you're live, you have a whole lot more to say than what you originally thought. So three to five bullet points, and then you're good to go. The third tip for going live on Instagram to grow your business is to figure out a really good topic. And I find that this is where most people get stuck. They're sitting there in the morning, drinking coffee, thinking, you know what, I should go live. I should share something, but what is that gonna be? So here are some of my favorite topics that you can pull from when you're ready to go live. Number one, rant. It might not be in your personality to go ballistic on someone but rants are a really powerful way to differentiate yourself from others in your market. So if all your competitors are saying one thing about your industry, maybe you have a different take on it, or maybe you don't agree with that big thought leader who's gotten a lot of press because of their positioning. So there's a saying, if there's an apple cart, tip it. So if there's like a hot topic going on in your industry, or you see a post and you disagree with it, the point is not to be antagonistic. The point is to put your stake in the ground and really tell your followers what you stand for. Now, some people are really gonna agree with you and some people are not gonna agree with you and that's okay. The bottom line is you are gonna be a whole lot more memorable than if you never hit live and ranted at all. The second topic idea is behind the scenes. So if you're doing something in your business that's a little unique, like today, I'm filming. So earlier I went live and shared a behind the scenes of how I turned my home office into a video studio. That's really cool for your followers just to get to see what really goes on for you to create the business that you have. So anytime you're going to an event, anytime you have a special guest or friend over, um, maybe you're celebrating something, that's a perfect time to go live and bring your followers in into what's going on in your world. The third live topic I have for you is 
When you have just helped a client or a customer solve a problem, that's a great learning lesson that you can share with all of your followers. So if you're a business coach or if you're an online course creator and someone came to you with something that really kept them up at night and maybe you helped them through it, you coached them through it, that is a great topic for you to relay over to your followers. Plus, this is a really sneaky slash smart way to sneak in a testimonial. So that's my fourth topic idea is you can go live with a client of yours, with a customer. It can be super simple as you just explaining how you helped them and what happened for them, what was their transformation. Or if you wanna go next level, you can go live, they can request access to go live with you, and you can both talk about the experience together with your followers. My fourth tip for going live on Instagram is this framework of mine that keeps me structured so that I don't go live and start rambling, I don't get distracted with the comments, I don't try to start blocking spammers while I'm live because while all that stuff is annoying, it's even more annoying for your followers to see. So the very first thing that I really recommend you do is make sure you have a framework of what you're gonna say and you just dive right into it. Don't waste time saying hi, don't waste time waiting for people to jump on, just get into it. So here's the framework. The very first thing you wanna say after you've hit the live button is your hook. So the hook could be, Today I'm covering the four ways I made $10,000 in my business last month. Something like that. It's gotta be interesting. It's gotta make people curious. Then you're gonna quickly let the viewer know what you're about to cover in your video. And make sure you tease the last point because that gives people a reason to stick to the end and watch your entire live. Then you wanna slide in a quick call to action as to where they can find more information or more tips like the ones you're about to share. So usually that's my website. Then the last part of this framework is to simply share your tips. After you've shared your three to five bullet points and hopefully you're under 10 minutes still, you wanna wrap everything up with a repeat of your call to action. So where can people find out more information about this topic? Make sure you lead them to your website or your freebie. Speaking of call to actions, I have one for you. If this video inspired you to figure out the next topic for your next Instagram Live, go ahead and leave that topic idea in a comment below or if you like this training and you want more, I have a free masterclass. If you want the link to that masterclass, write in a comment, give me the masterclass, and I'll be sure to send you the link. And as always, if you loved this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button plus the bell for more Instagram marketing videos like this one. To ease revenue and going live, I'll see you in the next video. It's been a long winter. <laughs> No, how did you do that? <laughs> like, uh, just like look one way and look the other way. Yeah, okay.